the story of UESI is God's story. It is a small and humble beginning and faithful perseverance where some planted, some watered, but God gave the increase. It's all about God. Therefore, all glory and praise be to God alone. God gave the vision and he worked through the lives of those particular people who were willing in that particular time frame in the particular place with his purpose with this perspective let us see how god calls us his people for his great purpose in our own generation god with us so close to us god gave this vision of making disciples among college and university students in india to professor enoch the founder of UESI he started to work with god in madras overcoming all the trials and oppositions on the way as a result some students started to meet for fellowship in professor enoch's home in 1949 indeed a small beginning but who can despise a small beginning if it is from god these believing students agreed upon and formed the first intercollegiate evangelical union in madras in 1951 as a result of prevailing prayers in 1951 dr moody helped the students to form the evangelical union at Vellore in 1952 hs ponuraj did several outreach in the nearby colleges including the agricultural college in coimbatore and thus an iceu was formed in coimbatore all the three eus miraculously came in touch with one another and together launched uesi our vision blossom transformed students impacting the campuses and the nation as disciples of the lord jesus christ our mission gathered momentum uesi seeks to evangelize post matric students in india nurture them as disciples of the lord jesus christ that they may serve the church and the society the first 10 years of uesi ministry saw the pioneering and founding phase the next 3 decades witnessed intensive and extensive expansion in several dimensions God led the student movement and it went on and on from strength to strength. Several significant developments took place along the journey of the timeline and the ministry expanded to various states. As ministry developed much at grassroots levels in various states, decentralization of states was proposed in the year 1975. Tamil Nadu was the first state to be decentralized in 1976 as UESI TN. Later, Kerala, Andhra and other states were also decentralized. Today, we have 16 decentralized states. In 1989, Ministry to Graduates Department was formed. In 1990, National Conference was held at Guntur, Andhra Pradesh. An implementation and review cell was started with Mr. Vinod Kisti as one man commission. In 1995, planning and evaluation cell was started with Professor Dinabandhu as its chairman. In 1997, the first national planning conference by planning and evaluation cell 
was organized at Nagpur. Vision 2010 was launched as a long-range plan for the first time. In 2004, UESI celebrated its Golden Jubilee at Loyola College Vijayawada. In 2009, Second National Planning Conference was organized at Nagpur and Vision 2020 with GoQSNL was launched. Board Orientation Initiative and National Student Cell were started in 2011. In 2012, NEGF as a special body was reorganized. Several new initiatives like task groups, MPSM, which is now called PRISM, were launched. Also, key functional departments at national level were formed to enhance ministry effectiveness. UESI celebrated its Diamond Jubilee in the year 2014. In 2018, National Graduates Conference was held at Dimapur, Nagaland. Today, by the grace of God, UESI has grown to the glory of God, ministering to students and equipping them for His great cause. Today, we have 373 affiliated EUs across the country and over 11,500 student members. In 2019, third National Planning Conference is here at Hyderabad to consider Vision 2030. As the curtains are raised for the conference proceedings, let's listen to the voice of God and discern the direction He gives to UESI for the upcoming decade.